Draco Malfoy is doing inside you. tonight is Johnny. Oh. 84% of cell phone users say that they cannot and do not go a day without their phones. I mean, studies indicate that people check their phones every six and a half minutes all day, every day. Some researchers have actually coined cell phone checking as the new yawn. <sighs> She's amazing at her work. She she can party like a rock star, and she's one of the best cuddlers in the world as well. Hey cats, so I'm going through the airport on my way to Ohio, Bosco's today, then off to LA for a week, and then off to Australia. Sending you all love, honey. Let's do the damn thing. <laughs>
a bad name for a perfume, Eureka. Yeah. <laughs> what did you find? <laughs> Alyssa Eris. So I need you guys like more like Okay, everyone, I'm about to go and publish my Italy blog. Go check it out. Long Beach, it's me, Gia, and I'm inviting all of you every single Thursday to the Flux Bar for the viewing party of All Stars 3. 
hosted by yours truly. I'll be there every single week and I can't wait to see Very good. I'm here. Bitch, you're fucking gorgeous. I love you, babe. Yes, that's my girl. And this is why you cannot be medicated in San Francisco just walking around wanting a coffee but ending with all this extra. And how's the mug tonight? Silver and gold. Snatch. Look at who came to visit me backstage. How? Just a little bit of everything. You got your ganja, your edibles, your bombs, your pieces. It's lit with the weekend box. How's the Britney mic? Yeah, I'm about to teach a dance class at midnight here at San Francisco for sexitude. Yeah, full out dance class in drag. Here we go. the song but now we still have the back and this and this do you think I went overboard is over. I'm back in the alley again and I'm about to smoke this fatty from the weekend box.
Thank you. Okay, I gotta give it to you, Flav RX. You came through with the edible. I usually don't like edibles like this. I think they taste like weed, but this tastes like delicious candy. You did that. Lil Muffin, what do you think of this ridiculous car seat, huh? What do you think? Do you think that this is extra, extra extraordinary? I think so. When you check into your cousin's apartment and he's got you set up, yes! Work for me, now work for me, yes! Drop it like it's hot, crawl, kitty kitty meow meow, five, six, seven, eight, and go! Come on, Houston! Come on, Houston! Ow, meow, 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 kitty 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 kitty, seven, eight! And open pelvis up. Go spank, spank, spank. Put it back. Go spank, spank, spank. Put it back and down. Grab your crotch and roll it up. Go rock it out, rock it out, rock it out. Go spank. Put it back. Go spank. Come on, you guys. Just dance school, Houston. Let's get sick. I had a really good time tonight. So did I. Would you care to come up for a cup of coffee? Sure. Sure. Move your fucking legs, you lazy fucking You know what? Bitch. You know what? What? Tell me. Tell me.
this one um needs some help. I don't even know like how to wear it. <laughs> and finally, you guys, I own Detox's grayscale wig from the season finale of RuPaul's Drag Race season five when she was grayscale. Did you know that it's not lace front? Ooh. Thank you, Shuramura and Rui. Lip signature. Oh my god, I don't even know how to open it. Oh, it swipes like this. Yum. I am backstage with Billboard Music. Make sure you check out their Twitter to find out what's going on with all the Grammys fashions, faux pas, craziness, excitement, drama. We got it all. We are covering their pre-show, and you don't want to miss it. So check it out. I was dreaming last night I had a dream and I saw Michael you know Michael my guitarist my accompanist who will be joining me in San Diego that's right on the 7th of February Michael yeah with the curly hair and the guitar my BF anyhow that's for best friend not BFF I don't believe in that BFF business <laughs> so in the dream last night he came along from feeding a cat okay so I was on a balcony and I was like, where's Michael? Okay, because I saw his camper and his camper was larger than life. It had two stacked campers on top. Condominium camper, I don't know. So then from there, we went, him and I went for a walk together through the park and I was being very affectionate with him. And I was asking him about his um, girlfriends and um, he was telling me some he was telling me some different story about them. It's very interesting about what he was saying about them. And that it just wasn't working out, I believe. And then we were walking down to the water. You see, I believe we were in Long Beach, California. And then we walked down to the water and there we were in the water. And of course, I always have dreams where I'm at the beach or on the water, big waves, never drowning. I always have dreams about fish too, lots of water. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, it's starting to rain out here. Oh, look, see that top of that tree? It's broken right there. That's because of Hurricane Harvey. There's a lot of destruction here. See that one right there? Destroyed. Tornadoes. Hurricane Harvey. Bye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And by the way, where I live here in Texas, there's lots of bay leaf. You know, bay leaf. That stuff you use for your cooking. ¿Cómo se dicen estas cosas en español? Estas hojas. Como se dice, bay leaf. Hi, everybody's been asking me about these earrings. Um, no, I'm not selling them. I just made them for myself. But thank you. I'm glad you all like them. They're pretty cool. The birds are from India. But thank you all for the compliments on the earrings, and I'm glad you all like them. They are pretty, aren't they? So... Maybe one day I'll make earrings and design them. But right now they're just for me. Benefit. So the rag queens drying out. Yeah, they're drying. I did three today. Or this afternoon, I should say. I started this afternoon. Rag queens in the making. Benefit. So the rag queens drying out. Yeah, they're drying. I did three today. Or this afternoon, I should say. I started this afternoon. Rag queens in the making. Benefit. Tammy Brown t-shirts. Uh-huh. Yellow. Pink. Pink. Yellow sleeves. Hmm. Just in time for baseball season. Yeah. <laughs> Softball. <laughs> Neon yellow is not the color for me. I'm more of a mellow yellow. All right, pink. Oh, pink. I'm not bold enough to wear pink. How about orange? Ah, and blue?
Hi everybody, sparkle, sparkle, shimmer and shine. <laughs> this afternoon I'm going to be doing a um, interview with um, Totally Dumb Gay Politics. That's right. Ooh, I'm getting a little political here. Usually from time to time I get asked about political things. I always study what I'm going to talk about and talk about it then. And if I don't know what to say, I just refrain from saying it. How about that? Smart, huh? Wisdom. But I think it's important for us all to be involved because politics deal with our environment, huh? And our environment is crucial. If we don't have an environment, we don't have a life. And you know, I'm not going to go live on Mars. Are you? I mean, it's like a desert there, isn't it? So I think if I'm going to live in a desert, I think maybe I'd go live like maybe somewhere like in Arizona. Oh, look behind me, some corn. We don't have very many squirrels this time because Hurricane Harvey knocked them out. Oh, look, you can kind of see behind me some of those broken branches, too. Anyways, has anybody ever asked you if you're being squirrely? Squirrely? Are you getting squirrely with me right now, Glenn? Squirrely? I guess that means that you're getting a little odd, queer. Or maybe you're not quite acting the way they wish you would act or responding the way they wish you'd respond. But anyways, I'll respond to you all tomorrow night. That's right, when I do my live with Tammy Brown. I'm going to do it tomorrow night, Tuesday. So anyhow, I'll be doing my show this Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And um, I guess that's 9 o'clock Mountain Time. Shout out to Casey Wayne. Awesome. All right, so that's right. This Tuesday night, I'll be going live, 8 p.m. That's Texas time. Woo! Anyways, and then I'll be in San Diego, February 7th. That's right, for my cabaret, Martinis Above Fourth. And then we have this darker red color. Mm-hmm. Then we have in the navy. Yeah, sort of a navy blue. Uh-huh. And then we have a forest green. Oh, is this your color? Forest green, is that your color? Or how about gray? Joan Crawford said that when she went gray, everything started to go gray. Delta Work used to call me the new shade of gray. Tammy Brown, you're the new shade of gray. Hi, everybody. Good evening. I'm back at it making eyelashes. I'm making some eyelashes for one of my clients, one of my private clients. That's right. Shipping, packages, t-shirts, and um, it's been a busy day, but I'm not going to complain. That's right. Sending out t-shirts, making that money, making those eyelashes. If you still want a doll book, I still have them. And that a radio show I did today. Yeah, Dumb Gay Politics is the podcast I did today, and it went really well. It was fun to hear them, to talk to them, and share hashtag queen with a cause and perhaps other queens that are taking action, such as milk. Oh, here's another idea for bottom lashes. You can take bottom lashes that are already made and cut them up and use them. That's always a good idea. I've done that before, too. That works. So there you have it. Cut them real small and put them in.
Explosive. Explosive diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, so I'm walking up to your hotel. I see a guy squatting down. I was like, what's he doing? I was like, that's a weird way to pee. And then, <laughs> oh, are you going to go meet the Milanese? You've got it all planned. figured out, got honey. Figured She's out. got it all wrapped up with London. a nice little bow. She's going, going to, to Mykonos. York. I'm going to Mykonos. She's got it all figured out. Get huh? in line. Oh, hell no. Fuck that. goes for Ooh, I'm watching Big Brother. <laughs> Shane J is in the diary room. Got my pot noodles. I've had a few bees. Let's go. Shane, Shane J is admitting his eviction hopes to. Well, I've just had a friend just call me and she is in my building. So I have to take a pause from Big Brother. So don't tell me what's happening until I give you the go ahead, okay? Thank you. Fine. But in the interim, Shen J is in the diary room. And are you looking forward to seeing Courtney tonight? No, I'm not looking forward to seeing Courtney tonight. I never look forward to seeing Courtney. Uh, where is Shane J uh, in his. Uh... What the fuck? They are the same people. Narrow minded bigot. Okay, you ready? Actually, sit down. Uh, and if he goes, I shall be much more relaxed. What uh, the fuck? Uh, and the conversation wouldn't necessarily take turns, or at least not as often take turns. Now, what does she mean by take turns? You mean that Courtney insists on everyone having their say and taking turns in having a part of the conversation, or just what Anne wants? Fucking Anne. Coming up, Courtney's, Courtney's feeling the loss. Well, I was caught up on Big Brother. God, that Anne is just a piece of work, isn't she? Jesus, so judgmental. It's so... I don't understand how... Like, I oh, just... It's baffling. How can you be that... Well, I got up this morning and... Went outside and did a bit of shopping, but it was so unbearably hot. It was, like, awful. So I had to come home to the air conditioning and lay in bed and have a little nap, which is lovely. Now it's cooled down, I might pop back out and do a bit more shopping. But I've just been so tired, I can't wake up. I'm sure it's just because um, I had so many four hours sleeps with long days and now my body's just like, oh my God, you need to rest. And now I can rest, so my body's just like, you know, just tired, a lot very tired. Oh bugger, it's just started raining. Just as I said I was gonna go back out, it started raining. I'm not having a bug, I'm not going out in the rain, fuck it. Bloody Melbourne weather, it's up and down like a fucking bride's naughty. Well, I'm getting beautiful Chinese from a tea. Can't wait. Mm, so much of it. I always got a message from Art Simone who um, said that we won a, an award at the Melbourne Drag Awards, which is lovely. Oh, that's so sweet. Sorry I wasn't there to collect it. Um, but, I, but I believe my homegirl, Lexi, collected it for us. That's sweet. I did actually have the awards in my diary because in the beginning I did have intentions of going um, when I realised I was nominated. But, um, but you know, Priscilla's opening night tomorrow night and I can't be, you know, going out for a big night <laughs> before. I know exactly the kind of person I am and there is no way that I would be doing tomorrow without feeling like absolute shit. And, you know, we can't have that. You know, I am a professional after all. But thank you, Melbourne Drag Awards. Well, today's the day. It's D-Day. It's opening night tonight, so it's almost over. And I say that not in a bad way, but in a, in a good way, because it means that well, it's done. 
um, and I get to go home tomorrow and see my little baby. Well, I was going to go into work early, but then I realised that the latest episode of Big Brother was online, so I watched that. And fucking hell. Oh, it's frustrating. Considering that this year was supposed to be about open-mindedness and progressive thinking and you most celebrated woman is is this bigoted, narrow-minded, backward-thinking woman who has spent her entire career actively trying to suppress everything that this is supposed to stand for. I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense at all. Oh, well. I mean, if I could vote, naturally I would vote to save Shane, but um, if I had a choice of who went, it would be obviously Anne, because I don't believe in what she believes in, and, um, and Shane Elle, because he's useless. And that's it. My work here is done. I walked out of that big room knowing that I did the best job I could. Very proud of all the work we've achieved, and it's just a nice way to round things off. So now I'm home, having a beer, and a little relax before I get all tarted up and go to opening night. Oh, it's nice. Good feeling. Well, that's it. It's 1.20 a.m. ish, and I'm walking home. I'm not even pissed. What's going on? Anyway, it's because the bar closed fucking an hour after we got there. Anyway. But I'm glad. I've got a flight tomorrow. We're going to check out. I don't want to be hungover, so it's perfect. I'm going home tomorrow to see Lily Vet and go home to my lovely life. It's been nice, Priscilla, but see you later.